This is the first letter of uh, problems with the Mexicans of taxes. When the miners arrived in 1859, it was still divided into the territory of Kansas, the territory of uh, New Mexico, the territory of Utah and Nebraska. But they had in their mind that they wanted to create Jefferson Territory. They wanted a square state in the middle of a map. And they included this notch area of New Mexico. New Mexico sends their territorial delegate to let them know that really you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't take this notch and just put it in with a new territory that you want to make. There's too many differences of tradition, language, religion, that you shouldn't take them away from what they know as their family. With no vote of the people, 7,000 people wake up one morning and they're now in a new territory. And in order to have statehood, you had to have 60,000 um, citizens in your territory. Without the Hispanos, they would not have had the 60,000. So they were intent on keeping that population in Colorado for, for that sole interest. They're now in an English-speaking territory, English laws, and new settlers coming in. 1862, we've got the Homestead Act. So people are just coming out and grabbing land where they can. They were accustomed in New Mexico to having a bilingual legislature. We only had two Hispanic legislators and they had no interpreter there ready for them. Then when they asked for the rules of the House, which are basically parliamentary procedure, they were shot down when they asked for a copy translated. And hard weather uh, and road conditions would keep those uh, representatives from the South to get to the legislature. They had been a barter society from New Mexico. They came into a cash economy in Colorado and that was very difficult for them. How were they going to pay their taxes when they don't have hard cash? So in order to get hard cash, you have to sell your, your property, you have to sell your livestock, or you have to indenture your son or daughter. The Hispano settlers really felt that the military was there to watch them, to make sure that there wasn't another Taos revolt, so to speak. Newspaper reports that come out say that, you know, the Mexicans are planning an insurrection. So this, this idea of this insurrection blows up more and more and more. At this time, the territorial representative by the name of um, Francisco Gallegos is found on the Conejos Plaza with a rope around his neck. So it's just a real sad state of affairs. And I said, this, this has to be documented. By 1862, just after being one year in the territory of Colorado, they wanted to return. And they submitted petition after petition trying to get returned. And they almost did in 1864, but the congressional session ended. And of course, by the next session, they were taking care of the issues with the end of the Civil War and Reconstruction. It's very hard on the people. It was just very, very hard. There's a cultural shift, and there's going to be pain endured some way, some loss.